Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon. You are now with me, Nadia Melissa, on TVS New News, 22nd August 2017. This year, the oil and gas town of Bintulu is very honoured to be chosen as the host of the state level Harika Bangsaan on 31st August 2017 to be held at the premise of Dewan Suarah Bintulu. According to Minister of Utilities Datuk Sri Dr. Stephen Rundi Utom, Majlis Kesyukuran will be held at Masjid Ashakirin on the 30th about 6 pm. The next day on 31st August 2017 will be the state level national day which will start at 7 a.m. with the arrivals of contingents taking part in the rally and parade. There will be 60 contingents for this event and each comprise 44 persons. All the files in the storeroom at the police headquarters in Cebu were destroyed in a fire on Tuesday morning. Central Zone Fire and Rescue Department Chief Superintendent Abdul Mutalib Ja'far said 33 firemen from the Sungai Merah and Central Station arrived at the scene at 7.48 a.m. but the blast had already destroyed all the files. The fire also spread to an office next to the storeroom before it was put out at 7.52 a.m. It is learned that the files belong to the Commercial Crime Investigation Department. Cebu OCPD Assistant Commissioner Saiful Bahri Abdullah said the fire was discovered by his officers who were reporting for duty and that it could have started due to a short circuit. The MRT project is expected to create employment for an estimated 130,000 people which results in generating gross national income of Ringgit Malaysia 3 to 4 billion per annum from construction and operations from year 2011 to 2020. According to the Minister in the Prime Minister's Department, Dr. Nancy Shukri said this in her speech when launching the seminar on challenges in delivering the Klang Valley Mass Rapid Transit this morning, there will also be a host of spin-offs from having the MRT. For example, with travel time reduced as people are no longer stuck in traffic jams as much, productivity will therefore be increased, where 280 million hours annually can be saved from traffic jams, which translate Ringgit Malaysia 20 billion per annum in time savings. With the above-mentioned success in delivering the MRT SBK line, it is hoped that the experience gain would be translated into meaningful involvement of local players for the planning, design and construction of rail-based projects and more. And that's all from me, Nadia Melissa, for TVS New News. Stay tuned for more updates. You can watch us anytime, anywhere. <laughs>